Welcome back yeah, to Across right. Louisiana. <laughs> We're happy again to feature a dynamic community here in East Baton Rouge Parish. It's the city of Baker. They're on the move. And here to tell us all about Shop Baker Day in Baker is Ms. Troy Watson. Welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. There's so much going on in Baker these days. I, we're on the show a lot talking about all the exciting new things happening. This is another one of them. Tell the folks a little bit about Baker Team City and Shop Baker Day. Well, Baker Team City is a grassroots organization that wants to uh, promote a more positive image of Baker, encourage the citizens to shop in Baker, encourage and promote entrepreneurship, uh, assist the businesses in any way that they, in any way we can, and, and provide um, assistance and encouragement to the citizens of Baker to come together and become members of Baker Team City so that they can participate in some of the uh, upcoming events we have and just bring the city together. I'm always impressed when we have anyone representing Baker here with the spirit of teamwork that's taking place between Team City and the Chamber of Commerce and even the mayor's office and things like that. I mean, why is that so important? It's, it's important because the city has to come together if we want to move forward, if, if the city wants to grow. And and if we can get the citizens more involved and more engaged, then, then the city can begin to move forward in a positive direction. You know, Baker is a place that's experiencing some, some economic growth now. Things are beginning to get moving there. And this is really just a great example of kind of keeping that going, getting the folks to, to keep that money home where it can do the most good, right? Right, right, I exactly. Um, if we, if we, focus on shopping in Baker first, then it would help the economy in Baker grow. We have enough stores, we need to support our businesses, and that's what we're for, we're supporting the businesses. And that's really the idea that's behind the idea. Shop Baker Day, right? Yes, that's the idea. So, so tell me a little bit about how does Shop Baker Day work? Well, we ask the businesses, we go personally to them and ask them to support our efforts in Shop Baker Day by advertising, uh, sales or promotions that would be beneficial to the shopper on that day. We also uh, have a door beautification contest where the stores uh, tastefully, of course, decorate <laughs> their doors <laughs> and clean up the front of their buildings and um, the winner gets uh, a free year's membership to the Baker Chamber. But not only that, we're going to have um, Live radio, live radio remote broadcast. We have, uh, so far we have Jaguar Journal coming out for us. And we also, uh, we're also looking for other radio stations to come and do a live remote somewhere between 11 and 2 Absolutely. on that day. Absolutely, get that work so, out. Yeah. So really, you're, you're making it easy for the consumers in Becker to, to stay right there and to spend that money right there in their own community. Exactly, right? exactly. So if folks want to learn more about Shop Baker Day and, and what's available to them, or if I'm a business owner and I want to take part in it, where do I need to go for more information or to find out more? You can, you can call me, 225-454-2407, uh, or you can email me at troynwatson at gmail.com. Awesome. Sounds like a great effort. We wish you the best of luck with it and can't wait to hear the results of Shop Baker Day. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming you. on and telling us all about it. Thank you for having me. Well, you may have heard of the blessing of the boats, but have you ever heard of the blessing of the bikes? It's in Livingston Parish. Take a look. Let us pray. Lord, holy protector and source of all of our blessings, we call down your power of blessings upon this, our motorcycle. This machine, part of our ever-enfolding creation, may it carry us on our journey of life. Bless it with your protection and the shield for all of those who ride it from harm and injury. May those who drive it be ever mindful of its power for good and its power for harm. Well, we're having our annual blessing of the bikes here in Livingston Parish. And you know, it's a, it's a fantastic event. It's, it's organized by the Iron Warriors, a group made up of police and firemen all across East Baton Rouge Parish, Livingston Parish. Iron Warriors is a group of people that ride together, they fellowship together, they pray together. 
and they've always made special attempts to raise money for dreams come true and special items or special situations that happen during the year where people need to have help or support financially. It started, some friends of ours happened to be working at a, at a, a special event in Maryland and we saw the blessing of the bikes and we came back to Louisiana and decided we need to be a part of that. So we created it. Like I say, this is our 11th year. It's grown from a little bitty thing that we do to now we, we're on an average of, of any given time that we'll raise today probably thirty, forty thousand dollars The money stays local. Right now it takes on anywhere between $3,500 to $5,000 for an average dream for these terminally ill children. And it's our wish and our, we're, very, we're very blessed to have our children ha healthy, our grandchildren are healthy, so it's very passionate to me. I got started with Dreams Come True because my niece was, my niece was a recipient of a dream for Dreams Come True. I can remember in 1983, because I was going to church with the guy that started Dreams Come True, and the very first prize that they ever were able to give was a pizza and they had a fire truck and, and it just absolutely was fantastic. Now they're averaging somewhere around 60 dreams come true a year, somewhere around $5,000 per dream and, uh, and it's put on by this group and, and you know it's just an awesome event. Weather could not be better out here in Livingston Parish today and we just are so thrilled to be a part of this and to have everybody be out here with us today. It's the start of the, of the new riding season. So we want to make sure that all denominationals, that any bikes, so we don't, we're not discriminating against any motorcycle. So we want them all to come, bless their motorcycles, that, that they have a free and safe riding period that we're doing. In Louisiana, we're very lucky. We have a longer riding period than most people. Uh, so we try to make people aware, but the blessing of the bikes is designed to get everybody for the start off, the kickoff of the motorcycle riding season. If you look around, look at all the people that are around here. Look at the bikes. Look at the people that come in. This is not only an East Baton Rouge, Livingston Parish thing. This is something that is from around the world, around the country. Bikes have been flown in from Sweden. I've seen them in here from Switzerland, from Germany. We have so many friends that, and, and friends that we make as we work together and it means so much, it's just so important. We're doing an auction with the auction and the items that were donated, a lot of the business donated, some of our corporate sponsors being Goodwood Hardware, Lancaster House, a lot of the other local vendors that, that are donating stuff. We have free admission, we have four bands, these bands donate their time. The Convention and Visitor Bureau uh, through Eric Edwards, Eric does a fantastic job with them every year. And uh, they're a big part of this and sponsoring this event. You'll see the different booths of people setting up for drinks and uh, food and, and all this sort of stuff and different vendors. But Eric kind of ramrods this and he's got a lot of experience with it. He's actually involved in the Tick Fall 200, all these other events that I mentioned, the Spring Fest, all these events. Eric, Eric's somewhere around when all that's going on and there's a reason for that. And the reason is Eric does a fantastic job. Uh, he comes from a background of doing a lot of concert work through the years uh, in Baton Rouge and areas with big stars, so he knows how to handle events and crowds and how to put it together. And we're thankful to have Eric here in Livingston Parish. The Iron Warriors are consist of police officers and firefighters, active or reserve, okay, that, that, that are portion of that. We have a few civilians that are in it, but the majority of the time it's police and firefighters. For more information about the Iron Warriors Central, it's Iron Warriors Central LA. Uh, my phone number 225-806-6986. Call us for any information that you may need or any questions about our organization. When we come back on Across Louisiana, we'll find out about the partnering to keep children first back to school bash. Don't miss it.